Good morning, good morning, good morning, my crafty peeps. I am here with the first Sherry Saturday video. Be sure to go check out the other ladies down below because um, we have individuals doing the cricket. We have the scanning cut. All I have is a silhouette, and I have the silhouette three, so that's all I can show you. Um, if you do have any questions for future videos, make sure you put them in the comments down below. And if it is a cricket or a um, scanning cut, you can go to one of the other ladies and put it down in their comments so they can help y'all. Or you can put it down below, and then I'll just email you know one of the other ladies who I know you know is working with that particular machine. And hopefully they can help you out with that. Okay. I am not a cameo guru. Never claim to be. I'm getting here. I can do a little stuff, manipulate. I can pretty much get it to do what I want. I am learning new techniques with it. And that's because I'm going to give credit where credit is due. And I'm going to put her link down there. Shakia, who is still a hard economist. She do one-on-one -on -one classes. She is a great, she is a, now she, I consider her still a good guru. You know, everybody got their personal opinion. So I'll put a link to her channel down below because I have learned a lot from her. I've took some of her classes. And every time she go live, I'm learning, asking. So that's where I get a lot of information from. Like I say, I'm just doing the basics and what works for me. If you have any more, you know, technical questions and stuff like that that I won't be able to help you with, then I might even refer you to her, you know what I'm saying, as far as the silhouette goes. Because like I say, she is awesome. Show shout out to Shakia. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the silhouette. We have it open up. I'm not sure, you know what I'm saying, it's hard to... Try to talk about one thing because I don't know what you need to know. So, this is um, how my silhouette comes up. Got all the basic stuff up here across the top. Over here, you know, you got um, your select tool, all this kind of stuff. So, I'm just going to go down and do a few things. If you want to make a box, bam, you can make your box. And mine is set up where it'll keep making these boxes. So, if I want to get off of making this box, I'm going to hit that point tool so I can get back to, you know, just regular select whatever the case may be. Of course, go here. If I want to change the size of that, I'm gonna come up here, hit my enter, and it's going to put this, you know, long box, whatever I put in there. So that's one way to be able to change measurements. And then also over yonder, here where you have this, um, what is it called? Transform panel, that's what it's called. You open this up, I go to this little bar, I'm not sure what it is, a little uh, scale bar, I guess you need. You could also, change it here so let's take that 45 out there and put it for eight i'm gonna hit enter and that's another way to change your sizes if it's not up here now i'm not sure if you're aware but there is different um versions i guess you could say of silhouette i do have business edition if i go here to help and i think view in so like i said i have bins edition you know because i've slowly upgraded so standard i believe is the free version and then you got designer and then i want you to you know what i'm saying so the highest one if i'm not mistaken is the business edition so some of the stuff i have on mine you might not have on yours depending upon what you know edition of silhouette you have okay so that's that let's close this let's see go down this um this is just some, now i'm not sure if this, like i say i'm not sure if you're going to see the same thing that i see just because i'm i think this might be a a business edition um edition <laughs> okay so you know you can select some other stuff here well i never really do anything with that I'll delete it uh let's see what else over here you might be able to use this is a free hand so if i click it i can you know do some stuff i'm not a drawer so more likely i would not use that right here of course is your text you're going to hit that come over here type whatever you want to type and it's going to come up right there let me highlight that let's put some color in there i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna take the line color off just because so i can see it better so make this a little bigger draw you know your little um you know how you could just get these little things and make it a different size or whatever this is one way to change the color here you can do it here or you can also come over here to this little paint palette and it's going to give you the same options to change those colors like so now let me close that now over here to do the line color it is this one right here and you can go over here to a little color i hope y'all can see this on on my computer up there uh, my little thing in the way on my camera so i couldn't really um see but anyway, you can do the, um, the line color here. So if I wanted the line for that to be uh, red, is it even slightly? You can't really see it just because. Um, let's see if I can. I'm just going to make the line thicker and you might be able to see it. I don't want it too thick. Let's do 0. 0.50. And I didn't do nothing. Can I do that? I didn't even get it selected, y'all. What am I over here doing? Give me all the erroneous information. Oh, let's do this. There you go. Now you can see it. <laughs> so, 
So now you can see how it changes that. So if I go here and I can change the color of the line, or you can go here. But over here, you're going to change the color here, and then the one next to it is where you're going to change the line. Well, over here, there's two separate. You got the paint for your um, just a regular color, and then this is where you're going to do your line color at. All right, I'm a, um, I'm doing a whole different video for the text, so that's why I'm not going to really go into that of how you in you know get your text in over here, but you will go over here to be able to get your fonts and things like that. You have your eraser tool right here where you can actually erase items and you can see how large it is. So if I do like this, it is going to erase, you know, whatever you have right there. You can change the size right here. Did you see that? Or you can do it as a square. So if you do this and then here is how you can change the size of that. See how big that is? Don't want that. So let's put it back this way and you see it goes back smaller. You can even get it smaller than that. Try to get in those little tiny places. And I think over here let's see you could probably do it this way like some of this i'm just testing out because it just ain't you know so i guess that's as far as you can go it just ain't items that i use okay so that's your eraser tool right there and of course if you make any changes that you don't want you always got this little back arrow that's going to go back and put that stuff in there now with the business edition I don't remember seeing this on the other one. They have this little twirly icon, so you can hit that, and you can actually go back even further. So it tells you, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, I didn't mean to do that way back yon day. Boom. You can go to it. So that's a cute little tool I like with the uh, with this one. All right. So let's see what we got over here. Now, once again, like I said, with that box, it still got that same. They told me to erase. I'm going to go up here, hit that little pointy tool, and take back my, I'm going to call it selection tool, and I can do what I want to do here. We got your knife right here. The knife, of course, is going to cut. Like I say, different with different editions, so I can't say whether you can do, you know, have this or not. So you see auto. So if I keep it on auto, like it is, did I hit that? I'm going to cut this, and it's going to automatically cut it. So let me get out of there and see. It's going to automatically cut that for me. So let me go back here. I'm going to take it off auto. And say I'm going to cut like this. Right? It is not going to cut that. Because like if I'm just trying it out, seeing if I like it, just whatever. Or just trying to make sure my line is straight. I will use that, um, take that auto off of there. And so then once I have this, I'll hit apply. And then that will, uh, let me get that off of there. And then that will cut it. So it's two ways. You know, if you know what you want to do on that knife tool, you're going to hit, you know, if it's in auto, as soon as you do it, it's going to cut it. If you're like, now nah, I want to make sure my line's straight, whatever the case may be, I'm going to do it right here. Make sure it's pretty straight or whatever I'm trying to do, curves or something, because you can, um, you know, you can do different curves. So if I want to curve around, I just wanted to cut right there. And, you know, so I'm just clicking this and it's, you know, and it's not on that, so I'm going to hit apply. Go here and it should take, uh, well, that's right, y'all. Remember that selection tool. So I should be able to remove that. And so uh, with that knife tool, you do have different options as to how you want it to cut. Okay, so that is that. And then there here is a property dropper. This right here. So uh, I don't have an image in here. So what the property dropper does is it, cha it um, puts the properties for whatever item you got selected and then what you click. So probably not explaining that correctly. So let me try uh, to do something here and see if this works. Here I'm going to go, because on that color, a uh, little paintbrush thing here. Just a little, what is this called? No, nope. little color palette. That's what I'm going to call it. They also have another option over here where you can do patterns. So I'm just trying something out. I'm going to put a pattern in there. And you can see you can add, you know, patterns. If you have any questions about that, make sure you let me know, and I'll put that in a future video. I'm just trying to go over, you know, real quick, because one thing I am not is a teacher, and you can probably see that already. I just be going through stuff. Anyway, let's take that line color off once again. So here we go with this. So this property dropper is, and, you know, all this all broken up and stuff like this. But we're going to use this one right here just because, okay? So what happens is this right here, I want to be like this. So I would click on this, hit my property dropper, and hit this. And it will give me that, you know, those colors and stuff in there, right? 
this is different from up here when you go to your color palette because I didn't mention earlier, but if you want to sample a color, so I'm going to say this H, I want to be blue. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to hit this little dropper, and I'm going to go to you know where I want to test. So let's say this blue right here. So that's just going to give me that blue color. It's not going to give me the whole sky like the property dropper does. So up here would be like a single color. When you do this property dropper here, this is going to give you all the aspects of that particular, you know, the object. And that goes the same with your text. So in my text, if I was to write all that, right? And then over here, I'm going to put tape. Or right, let's put scrappy. If I was to put scrappy, we're going to do that. So say here, I put in this red color. I'm going to take this line color off. I'm going to do a font really quick, uh, something that's going to be noticeable. Let's do it like that. Boom. And so then, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, I like that. What I'm going to do is click this one, click my property dropper, and select this in here, and it's going to do the same right there. And this is, you know, well, you can see where it changed those properties, but the color, you know, is that solid color is what I had it. So, of course, it's not going to do anything but if I have that let's see if we can do hit the property and if I hit this then you'll see it taking the property so now I look like the sky and not just that single color all right I'm trying to see how many minutes I'm just trying to do maybe 15 to 20 minutes videos okay so that is a property dropper so I think I went through everything over here up here is pretty self-explanatory right here is just showing because I'm I'm clicked on this font so it's showing me what font I have you know all this other good stuff up here so when you have a um, document open, you'll see you, there'll be a running tab. So if I hit this, it's going to open up a new one. It's going to open up a new one. And when it opens up a new one, it does gives you the option, like what machine you're going to use, um, what cutting mat. Of course, I usually use the 12 by 12, but if I'm doing something with 11 by 17, I can change that to the Cameo 12 by 24. You get your media size here, you know, you do 12 by 24, blah, 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 blah. So just depending on what I'm using, which is usually either a 12 by 12, eight and a half by 11, or 11 by 17, which would be the three I'm usually using. You could also change them here. And, you know, you got your portrait and your you know, landscape down here. Right here, if you want to show what's going to print, hit that, and you can see how that, um, see right there. And it shows you what is going to print. Depending upon what uh, printer you have, like I have the 7710 and the 7720, so they're wide format, and I can do borderless. So I can go in there, and it'll go all the way out to the edge. Depending, like I say, depending on what printer you have. And then you're going to show your cut border. Right here, I have my cut border all the way to the edge. I want every little bit. and But you can see where that actually going to cut at. So then you got your print, and you can show or not show. Alrighty, here is, uh, you can show your grid. So like right here, I just got mine down a little bit. Uh, that ain't even it. Go back here. Let's don't even go, oh, there you go. So see how, I, I like to look at the grids over here because I'm, you know, it helps me uh, with my measuring. So right now I just had it down because I was doing something else and I wanted to be able to see it. So depending on where you have this, you can see all your little uh, grids. And these are one inches, one inches. All that, you don't know how to talk. Anyway. <laughs> now, of course, you're going to come here if you want your registration marks. And if you're going to do them printing cuts, this is where you're going to go. Hit those registration marks to make sure right there. And you can do that in 8 half by 11, but you can also use them with the um, 11 by 17. You just have to, you know, make sure those adjustments. If that's something you want to know, make sure you put it in the comments down below so that I can do it in a future video. <laughs> Out of the road here, y'all. <laughs> Okay, like I said, it's early. I got my coffee over there, so let me take this off. So that's the registration marks. I don't use a lot of this in here. Maybe, you know, if there's something you want to know about, I can try to figure it out. Or maybe one of the other awesome ladies might be talking about it in their videos. Um, I'm not going to go over here. It's just a whole lot of other stuff that um, I'll probably do in my next video. and We'll go through here and show how, um, how it works. That's if, you know, no one has any other questions about anything else. Up here at the top, I showed you about that. You know you're going to have your cut and paste. And I see right here, I think you also have, but that was a color palette, select by color. That's some other stuff I don't use. Um, so then, of course, you're going to use these little zoom in, zoom out, the norm there. Because I do use that. Uh, let me click these out of here because I don't want to save them. I was just showing you that, of course. So we're back here. 
Um, the one thing that is really important because, you know, sometimes the program crashes. So if you go up here to file, open recovered, and it'll be a list over here of items that you recently had or that was shut down while you was you know, um, recovering them. And so, I mean, it might be numerous. So if it shut down a couple of times, you got to make sure, you know what I'm saying, how I need to go through and clean it. I try to clean it every now and then. And so then you could click on something that, you know, like, oh, I was working on that, didn't save it or whatever because I'm bad at doing that. And then give the computer a second here. Maybe, maybe not. This is something I'm working on. So it'll bring it up so I can do whatever I need to do and finish it, you know. And over here, so I can hit on here, discard or don't discard. So I'm going to discard it because, of course, I have it over here already. And that just keeps that clean. You don't want a lot of stuff over there. Alrighty, let's see. So, of course, you're going to do file. You can do open to be able to bring in. Now, if you go file, open. Let me just find something here. Let's do this here. So, if I do file, open, it's going to open up a whole new thing over here. See? Now. While I'm here, if I go file merge and find something else here, let's do this. If I hit file merge, it's going to go to the same um, tab, I guess you can say. So see, so file open opens a whole new tab and puts it on its own little thing. File merge is going to, you know, put whatever you click into that same tab. So that right there. File merge and file open the difference between them. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake this thing. Uh, let's see. These, you know, you can still do your new save as right here. Now, so as far as saving, I'm going to do this saving and that's it. So I save to the hard drive. I'm usually saving to my computer. I'm saving to my external hard drive or whatever the case. So I'm going to go to save to my hard drive. And that's where a lot of people save that because the, um, the store only gives you so much um, storage. And if you're buying a lot of... Um, files and stuff from the store then you know you need all that room in there even though they do back it up and it is and that might be something i told teach in one of the other videos or maybe one of the other ladies as far as backing up your information from the silhouette anyway so you can go save it save wherever you want to save it i'm gonna hit cancel now if you hit file um save as to the library you have and this is um your library through silhouette and i'll show you you know over here how to get this and then you know what i'm saying you're going to put whatever you want to call it boop boop and it's going to go under user define i'm really not trying to say this so i would type whatever i want to hit i hit okay but i'm gonna cancel and they want me to do this oops and they're probably in it because i'm just doing stuff but okay so and then so be able to uh and, you know, so if you save it to your um, hard drive, you're going to do that file open, go figure out where it's at or that file merge and, you know, open it up that way. If it's here in your user defined, you're going to come over here and this is where I have my files at and I am getting it cleaned up because I think they, well, they only give me five gigabytes. So I got to make sure I keep it halfway decent or the whole thing will be all run over with files. Anyway, so if you want to go and find what, you know, what you had just worked on, you want to work on later, you want to go to your user defined and then you're going to find it in here projects that you're created and save to your library okay so i think i covered quite a bit in this first one i think that's it for now as i said before if you have any questions about the silhouette or a particular section or something that you want to see make sure you put it in the comments down below and uh, we can try to get that incorporated into you know one of the um classes or like i say maybe one of the other ladies i just keep in this thing one of the other ladies um had did something and uh might have already answered your question okay Thank you for um, hanging out with me for these little almost 20 minutes. Make sure you go check the other ladies out. If you have a Cricut or a scanning cut, check out one of the other videos and they can probably answer your questions. If not, you could always leave a comment on their channel to be able to see if they can help you with um, an issue or something that you have. Like I said, once again, uh, I can maneuver in the silhouette and get to do what I want to do. But like I said, again, shout out to Shaniqua, who is um, Silhouette Anonymous. I'll put a link to her channel down below because she has, I have learned a lot of things by just watching her videos, taking some of her classes, and she do a little live videos. So if you want to um, get more in depth, I guess you say, with Silhouette and want to do more stuff with it, then make sure you go check out um, her channel. All right. Thank you so very much for stopping by and I will see you because this is January's. I will see you in February with the next Share It Saturday. Yep, Share It Saturday video. Thanks for watching.